This is Sirena Nereida with Celestial Soul Wellness and all your energy and body needs that you need. Well, thank you for watching. Today we're talking about our uh, uh, root chakra and uh, we're gonna do yoga poses for the root chakra. So remember with every time we do yoga, okay, make sure that you're not doing it within four days of an eclipse and that you're doing it with deep Merkaba breathing. That's the whole purpose. It's not a competition. I keep saying that over and over. The breathing is more important because you want to get oxygen within your body. Okay? So, um, the first thing we're going to do is mountain pose. When we do mountain pose, we're going to make sure our legs are hip width apart. Okay? So you're not together. No, no, no. And you're not all the way out the shoulder. We're doing hip width apart. And you're making sure that you are really nice planted, like a mountain. And you're just having your hands straight out to the side, okay? So for those of you who are bilingual, this is la postura de la montaña. Shoulders are back. And when we're doing that, we're going to make sure our tush is inward. Stomach is flat, okay? And we have the knees slightly bent. If you have your knees too tight, you're going to go forward or you're gonna go backwards. So slightly bent gives us balance. Again, so we have, <laughs> I got this wonderful little fly following me. Okay, so we have our legs width apart, knees slightly bent, tush in, stomach flat, shoulders back, chin parallel to the floor, and you're gonna take a nice deep breath into your abdominal region. So now we're gonna look bloated or pregnant, okay? So we're going to breathe in for five. So, ready? Let's go. Maintain it. Exhale. And so that is mountain pose. You want to do that at least five times, okay? After mountain pose, let me see my list here. I got... We're going to sit down, make sure that you're nice and straight, back straight, okay? Toes are pointed, and we are going to take a nice deep breath in. Take the breath before you bend down. So breathing inward. Okay, so stretch all that out. Your meridians need that oxygen going. Okay, now when we're doing forward bend, there's something called deepening of the stretch. So I'm going to go to the side. And for those of you, okay, so when we breathe in, we breathe in first, okay. We're going to actually put our hands in prayer position back here. Elbows out. Breathe in. Inhale for five. Hold for five. And exhale. And really nice. Feel that stretch. When you feel that stretch, you're going to feel it nice right back here back of your legs, all the way to your feet, to your toes. It is great. Okay, so that is deepening the stretch there. All right. 
Um, the next one we're gonna do for the <laughs> looking at my notes. The next one we're gonna do for the muladara one is going to be um, fierce pose. Okay, so fierce pose is we're gonna take mountain pose and we're going to add to it. So we got mountain pose. You're nice, balanced, stable. And now we're going to reach up, okay? And we're actually gonna do a little stretch and keep the stomach inward, okay? So that way you can see the nice stretch. Don't push it out too much, just enough. So breathe inward, so inhale. Make sure you look loaded. Okay, hold for five and then exhale. Again, breathe inward. Hold. And exhale. And that's deepening the stretch. You should feel it in your legs and in your arms. Ooh, it's getting cool. Okay, the next one we're gonna do we did the bench, we did the um, mountain pose, fierce pose, okay. Okay, and the triangle pose. So triangle pose. We're gonna do triangle pose right now. Let me just throw on my jacket, it's getting cool out here. Can we see me even though it's getting dark? All right. Okay, how are we doing everybody for the Muladhara? Remember this is your Muladhara chakra, your root chakra, nice base. So, for your triangle pose, get a little bit more than width apart. Feet should be facing forward, okay? And you're going to just do all the way and stretch, okay? Take a nice deep breath and release. Feel the stretch in your inner thigh there. The key is not just to stretch and get up, but to hold and breathe through it. When we breathe through the pain, and it's not a pain, it's a stretch really, that is when we are giving more oxygen to our body and it becomes even easier. So inhale, hold for five. And exhale. Or we reach inward. You can also go this way. Come up slowly. Please come up slowly because there has been a lack of oxygen to your brain, especially those women or people who are anemic. When you are anemic, you get dizzy, vertigo, uh, much more easier than other people. What is anemia? A lack of iron, which means a lack of protein, really. Okay, you can get all your protein charred spinach, peas, nuts, besides your meats and chickens, okay? And so, what we do to one side, we must do to what? The other side. So, let's take a nice deep breath. And we're gonna release, so. And we're gonna stretch it over, okay? And again, you're trying to feel the stretch in the back here, in your inner thigh, in your leg. Get the stretch, open this up too, okay? Make sure you're all nice and open. You feel, breathe into your shoulders, breathe into the areas. Just when you inhale, feel the oxygen penetrating and traveling throughout your body. This has been the different poses for the Muladhara Chakra, your root chakra. Again, the whole purpose of your root chakra is to be grounded. My buddy, the tree here, a lot of you have uh, met before, okay? And so you want to stay grounded. The Muladhara Chakra is all about that. You need to inhale. People who stand too much like this or who are always like this, they're not grounded. Many people are overweight because they're looking to be grounded because their character, their personality is not grounded. 
So, instead of always relying on food, okay, or other people to ground you, grounding yourself through yoga and through discipline and changing your one's perspectives is much easier and better and healthier for you and for everybody. It's optimal well-being. Okay, it's not necessarily the length of your life, but the quality of your life during that length. Okay, so once again, this is Sirena Nereida with Celestial Soul Wellness. Namaste and Chaosito.